Touch Points is the fruit of a collaboration between Meta Norgard, a gifted teacher of leadership, and myself, an experienced leader of leaders in the business world. It reflects over 60 years of study and experience working with leaders from around the globe. Together, Meta and I believe we are advancing to you a fresh, effective, and enduring way to lead, starting with your next interaction. Most leaders feel the inevitable interruptions in their jam-packed days are troublesome. Meta and I believe that these interruptions and every other point of contact with people are overlooked opportunities for leaders to increase their impact and promote their organization's strategy and values. Through previously untold stories from my tenure as CEO of Campbell Soup Company and Meta's vast consulting experience, we show that a leader's impact and legacy are built through hundreds, even thousands, of interactive moments in time. We call these interactive moments touch points. The good news is that anyone can develop what we call touch point mastery. Such mastery in the smallest of moments can transform aimless activity in individuals and entropy in organizations into focused energy, one magical moment at a time. At this point, let me provide a little of my background as it relates to the evolution of our thinking about touch points. When I took over as CEO of Campbell in 2001, the company's stock was trailing the S&P 500 and falling precipitously. The core businesses were in disrepair. The organization was in turmoil, and Campbell was the poorest performer of all the major food companies in the world. As the new CEO, my job was to stop the bleeding, stabilize the situation, and get the company back on its feet. It would not be easy. The employees were shell-shocked by the battering they were experiencing on all fronts. For almost everyone, including me, this meant difficult daily encounters that were always challenging and often unpleasant. A disillusioned consumer, an irate customer, an indifferent supplier, a frustrated coworker, the daily grind seemed endless. To make matters worse, the systems for managing those situations were largely dysfunctional. People felt tired, unappreciated, and virtually everyone felt as if they were victims of their circumstances. I had come to Campbell with a reputation for helping to engineer turnarounds in the food industry. Prior to joining the company, I was the president of the Nabisco Foods Company. In my term as president of the Nabisco Foods Company, we had taken a large division from mediocrity to delivering five consecutive years of sales, earnings, and market share growth. I say we because this part of the story is not about me. It is about thousands of my colleagues at Nabisco working together to deliver superior performance. How had we done it? We had rebuilt the company with a philosophy of being tough-minded with standards and tender-hearted with people. Some joked that our approach was too soft and that it was a cross between Pollyanna and Don Quixote, but we offered no apologies. The people were highly engaged and delivering excellent results. In a challenging industry, we grew earnings at a double-digit rate for five straight years until we were acquired by Kraft Foods. If that is a sign of being too soft, I'll take it every time. The question was, could we do it again at Campbell? As it turned out, the answer was a resounding yes. By 2009, the company was outperforming both the S&P Food Group and the S&P 500 for five years running. Sales and earnings were growing. The core businesses were thriving. The employees were highly engaged in their work. The company was increasingly being recognized for its progress with workforce diversity and inclusion. And Campbell was ranked as one of the 10 most socially responsible companies headquartered in the United States. Looking back on it, we achieved this performance at Campbell by using positive sequences of interactions focused within a winning strategic framework to tangibly demonstrate to employees that we cared. We used tough sequences to establish world-class standards of performance, and we used teaching sequences to develop better leadership throughout the organization. It was only later, while Meta and I were working on this book, that we came up with the term touch points to describe the interactions that we used to help put Campbell on the right track. Leadership is tough. As a leader, you must constantly meet and exceed targets. 
To perform consistently, you have to be prepared to make decisions and mobilize others on the spot. There is never enough time. There are customer issues, board issues, vendor issues, competitive issues, and employee issues. The phone system malfunctions, the production line goes down, the BlackBerry stops working, you have to fill in for someone at the last minute, and you are always on the go. How can you manage to get anything done in a world where you are lucky if you can average four minutes of uninterrupted time in a day? That was the question Meta and I posed to one another one morning when we were a world away from such frenetic activity, strolling the grounds at Skytop Lodge in the Pocono Mountains on the last day of a Campbell's CEO Institute retreat. Meta and I had met years before while I was at Nabisco and Meta was leading the executive development program for the Covey Leadership Center in Utah. We had reconnected again when Meta was interviewing me for a book she was writing on leadership, which led to our collaboration on the CEO Institute, a two-year development program for a select number of high potential leaders at Campbell. Knowing we would soon have to leave the peaceful Poconos and return to the real world, Meta asked me, don't you get tired of the ceaseless interruptions? After a moment of thought, I said, to me, they're not interruptions. They're opportunities to touch someone and improve the situation. As we talked further, we began to realize that while most people kept trying to minimize the dozens and dozens of encounters they experienced every day at work, I had come to believe that those encounters were the work and that how I handled them would ultimately define my success as a contributor and as a leader. This conversation is what led to our writing this book together. During the next four years, we probed the nature of a leader's scheduled and spontaneous interactions, drawing on our combined experience, mine as a leader of leaders and Meta's as a teacher of leaders. Increasingly, we came to understand what it takes for a leader to stand in the stream of such moments and influence their direction in a positive way. As our concept took shape, we came up with the name touch points to describe the way that each of the many interactions leaders have with others during their workday gives them the chance to touch someone, to influence, to guide, provide clarity, inspire, provide a sense of urgency, and shape the course of events. We've now spent countless hours exploring, discussing, and trying to figure out the touch points concept with a wide range of leaders from all levels of organizations from all over the world. It is unquestionably an approach that works. Touch point leadership is not about running faster, working longer, or wringing more productivity out of every waking minute. It is about being present in the moment and feeling confident that you can deal with whatever happens in a way that is helpful to others and by extension to yourself and your organization. Importantly, touch points do not replace the leadership models that work for you. Instead, they infuse them with energy. They offer a way of working that is ideally suited to the vagaries and demands of your specific situation in today's real world. Why are you interested in this work? Are you an experienced leader looking for ideas that can help you get better at your job? Are you new to leadership and seeking advice on how to become the best leader you can be? Are you aspiring to a leadership position and curious about what being a leader really means? No matter what your current position or purpose, you'll find embedded in our work ideas that will help you prepare yourself to work more effectively and efficiently in the interruption age. They will help you lead in the smallest of moments. In the first chapter, we explain what touch points are all about. And in the second, we discuss the commitment to touch point mastery. In the last four chapters, you'll find practical information and ideas that you can use right away in your very next interaction, and that will help you continue developing your skills over time. In each chapter, you'll find real stories from real leaders that illustrate the power of touch points. These stories are important because we believe that reflecting on and learning from actual experience is critical to success for anyone, especially leaders whose decisions and actions can affect so many people and have such significant consequences. Throughout our book, we've included reflection questions to help you think about these concepts as they apply uniquely to your situation. We encourage you to use the ideas and reflection questions in our book to pursue touchpoint mastery. 
Then, with each interaction, you will get better and better at leading in the moment. I guarantee that over time, the cumulative impact of such interactions will add up to real change. Change that can turn around a relationship, a project, a team, even a Fortune 500 company. I encourage you to roll up your sleeves and get started. Good luck.